Good morning, everybody. I am Husky Light. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for everything. Um, they're slightly late. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to work through the pain in my shoulder at the moment. Um, I'm not. I'm not being a victim or anything like that. I'm on quite strong painkillers, so I'm just battling. <laughs> I'm battling a little bit with that at the moment, but it's fine. Right. Our cards for today. Happy 11/11. 11th of November, Wednesday. Um, I think we've got quite a lot of waves coming in, energy waves, as I was speaking about in my video yesterday. Um, it's the new moon, it's the new moon in Scorpio. It's about healing not only yourself but others and abundance. And, and the cards have reflected it this morning. So we're starting off with the energy work card. Um, so the angels are, are suggesting to you that if you are feeling a bit off, if you're feeling slightly out of balance, um, maybe having ascension symptoms, whatever's going on with you, maybe you've got a lot of emotions going on within you at the moment, um, to get some healing. And this is especially important if you are already a healer yourself, if you're a light worker, if you're a star seed, whatever it is you, you are, you need to heal. So get some Reiki, massage, Epsom salts in the bath, that's really good for clearing. Do whatever you can if you feel that that's the sort of thing that you may need um, today because that's going to help you obviously to, to heal others. <clears throat> um, the card can also signify the angel's message that your life purpose involves giving energy healing work to others. So those of you who have been thinking about it, who are going through the awakening <clears throat> and thinking, what is it? What is my purpose here? What am I supposed to be doing? Um, it's, it's healing. It's healing in whatever modality that would be to you. So listen to your gut instinct on that. And that could fall into many, many different categories. Um, and whichever one you're thinking of is the right one for you. Also, we're needing to clear. <coughs> God, my shoulder hurts. <laughs> ah. um, we're also needing to clear the energy in our home today as well. We need to get the fresh air in. We need to have it flooding through um, our home. Um, if you're in the office today, you can open the window a little bit. Open the window a little bit. Um, as long as you don't let everybody else freeze, depending on how cold it is where you are. We're really sensitive to energy at the moment and we're really sensitive to the energies that are coming through at the moment. So we need to clear things. We need to make space for things. So it's clean, cleaning the house, spring cleaning. It's the new moon as well, which is what we do at the new moon to bring in the new energies. Um, also up in the corner is my new moon manifestation meditation. Go and give that a go if you'd like to. That will help you to manifest the things that you want or the things that you're working towards, um, towards the full moon. So we need to we need to get our energies cleared today in one way or the other, whichever way that's going to be. Um, it might be that you've been around others that are not particularly of a good energy or a positive energy. Um, and maybe you've absorbed some of those energies. So that needs to be cleared out. You need to cut your cords. You need to do all the clearing work that you need to do. Um, shield yourself as well. Just when you are going out and you're going shopping, wherever you're going, just to keep your energies clear. It's no good cutting a load of cords only for you to walk out the front door again and again absorb maybe other people's energies. So imagine yourself in a in a bubble in a pink bubble in a white bubble whichever color the lighter colors that that suit you as a protective light around you um, and also I've spoken about mirrors before um, but that's the one that I use quite a lot <clears throat> I will just imagine myself surrounded by a wall of mirrors facing outwards um, and that just deflects anything so there is a lot of clearing and a lot of healing um, that you can get done today. Even if it's clearing out your car, um, do whatever you need to do. Light incense, light some candles to clear energy within your home. 
do whatever and just visual, visualize yourself surrounded <clears throat> by a healing light and by by protection because you are protected you are safe you always are um so just keep that in mind and visualize how you want things to be right our next card and we've got two cards the same even though they're out of different decks we've got spiritual abundance thank you angels for blessing me with infinite abundance the angels want you to know that they are supporting you in all areas of your life Follow your spiritual guidance and your intuitive feelings and they will bring you abundance in all areas. Abundance is your spiritual reward for trusting and sharing your gifts, your talents, your light with the world <coughs> in whichever way that you do that. Any material needs you have will be met at this time. So just imagine yourself that you, you have abundance, you already have abundance with you, you already have it coming in don't get into the concept of I need to have this or, or, or lack of because that will not open you up uh, to the energies needed to be opened up in order to bring abundance through to you so imagine dream daydream that you already have what it is that you need and let the guides and let your spirits manifest that for you in whichever way they're going to bring that through to you remember to let go of control to surrender and release we don't know how it's going to happen but it just does because we just trust in the universe so you're being encouraged to su surrender any concerns in this area of your life to heaven and allow the angels to take care of them for you you are in a, you are a being of abundance you are abundant in light energy and love and you are being encouraged to share this in every area of your life instead of asking what you need ask yourself how can I be of service what can you do to align yourself with the universal life force if you can do this how can I be of service what can I do listen to your guides and angels and they will give you those internal answers and then you can align yourself this flow of support is coming to you at this time for those who dedicate themselves to service and they will receive the abundance of God and his angels which is all of you who are listening every single one of you who are listening you are already um, in service you know whatever jobs you do whatever you're going through whether it's <coughs> sorry <laughs> looking after children whether it's whichever job you do if it's of any sort of a healing modality then abundance will come to you and just trust in the universe and this it's you caring it's you shining your light out on everybody this is what the healing means you know when you smile at somebody when you give somebody a hug all of those things are all helping and that is how you are being of service you're just lighting up the world and our third card is also abundance even though it was out a different pack A new flow of support is coming to you right now so ask the angels to help you to release fears about your scarcity so that you can enjoy the increased abundance I'm not going to particularly expand on it because I just did with the last card your messenger angels announce the arrival of an inflow of abundance coming your way the source of all abundance is God and you at some level had faith that the Creator would supply your needs your faith even if it was small has triggered the abundance that is manifesting into your life right now so keep the trust up keep the faith up in the universe keep your hopes up be very very thankful remember at this time that you need to have gratitude as well and you need to be thankful for the things that you already have in your life in order to bring more things um, more love into your life more abundance so keep the faith as it will ensure a steady flow of support material, materially, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually and intellectually. A wonderful affirmation to help you stay in the stream of the steady flow of abundance is I accept good graciously into my life. All of my needs are met abundantly for me now and always. So keep that in mind. Have an amazingly wonderful day. Namaste, take care, blessings and light 
and I love you all loads and I will speak to you later. Bye.